Assalamualaikum. Welcome to the Biomathematics class. So um, today uh, we will learn about uh, the third method of preparing isotonic solution, which is sodium chloride equivalent method. Body fluids such as blood and tears have same osmotic pressure with 0.9% sodium chloride. It is important to maintain the osmotic pressure so that our cells do not shrink or burst. Therefore, solutions that have same osmotic pressure as 0.9% sodium chloride are said to be isotonic with body fluids. In this subtopic, you will learn two things. To calculate the E value of a drug and to calculate the actual amount of sodium chloride. Okay now, let's say you need to prepare a medication using sodium chloride equivalent method. Based on this prescription, first you need to determine the E value for 1 gram drug. And in this case, it is pillow kappa nitrate. Next, you need to calculate the amount of sodium chloride represented by this drug, this 0 0.3 gram drug. Okay, and after that, you need to calculate the total amount of sodium chloride, 0.9%, for this prescription. And last but not least, you need to calculate the actual sodium chloride need to be prepared. Now you need to remember, it is important to have solution that is isotonic to the cell. Therefore, a solution that has same osmotic pressure as 0.9% sodium chloride is said to be isotonic. Okay. Now, let us see the details of each step. The first one is how to calculate the E value of the drug. Sodium chloride equivalent of a drug is defined as the amount of sodium chloride represented by 1 gram of the drug and it is said to have same osmotic pressure. As stated in the example, the E value for 1 gram of pillow carbon nitrate is equivalent to 0.22 gram of sodium chloride. In order to calculate the E value of a drug, we need to use this formula. The molecular weight of the sodium chloride, which is 58.5, will be divided by the I value of sodium chloride, which is 1.8. And that amount will be times with the I value of the drug over the molecular weight of the drug. In this example, you need to calculate the E value of pillow kappa nitrate. Noted that the molecular weight and the I value of pillow kappa nitrate has been given. And also, you need to remember the molecular weight and the I value for sodium chloride. Now, you need to incorporate all the values given in the formula and then you will gain the E value of pillow kappa nitrate equals to 0.22 which means 1 gram of pillow carbon nitrate is equivalent to 0.22 gram of sodium chloride. You just learned the first step, which is determine the E value for 1 gram of the drug. Next, let's move to step 2, 3 and 4 for the details on how to calculate the amount of sodium chloride. Let's recap back. For step 2, we need to calculate the amount of sodium chloride represented by the drug. In step 3, we need to calculate the amount of 0.9% sodium chloride based on the volume of the prescription. And step 4, we need to calculate the amount of sodium chloride should be added. In this example, you need to calculate the amount of sodium chloride required in compounding the following prescription. Noted that the E value of pillow kappa nitrate is almost similar with the one that you have calculated just now. Okay, based on these signals which is prepared for the eyes, the drug is given in grams. If the drug is given in percentage, you need to calculate the amount into grams first. So, here are the step-by-step -step on how to calculate the amount of sodium chloride required in compounding the following prescription. Step 1. We need to multiply the E value of pillow kappa nitrate with the amount based on the prescription. And the amount we gain from the calculation is the amount of sodium chloride represented by the drug. Step 2. We need to multiply the 0.9% of sodium chloride with the total volume needed to be prepared based on the prescription. The amount we gain from the calculation is the amount of total sodium chloride need to be used in 30 ml solution. 
Step 3. The amount we gain in step 2 need to be subtracted with the amount gained in step 1 and then we will gain the amount of sodium chloride to be used. In this calculation, the amount of sodium chloride required in compounding the following prescription is 0.201 gram. The amount you have calculated in step 3 is the actual amount of sodium chloride needed. And based on the amount, we actually can measure the volume in milliliters of sodium chloride needed. We need to use the proportion method where in 0.9 gram uh, available in 100 ml, so if 0.201 gram will be available in 22.33 ml. So this is the volume that we need to compounding the prescription in example 1. Now, let's conclude the calculation we have made in example 1. Now, it is time to test your understanding. Please read the questions carefully and you can pause the slide for a moment.